In the first episode of this four-episode series about our Amtrak trip, we started from New Orleans headed to Chicago. The episode ended as we departed Jackson, Mississippi. In this episode, number two, we explore Chicago's Union Station. So we've arrived at approximately 9.55 in Chicago. Uh, we were due in at 9.15, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule. However, take a look down here. We backed in, so um, it's a long walk from here all the way to the end. The distance from the floor to the barrel vaulted skylight is 110 feet. The Great Hall has 24,000 square feet. There are connecting lobbies and staircases and a variety of balconies. Burlington room once was the women's waiting room and beauty parlor. The room is now available for gala events such as weddings, banquets, and it seats up to 350 people. It has its own entrance and its own catering kitchen. Great Hall has two statues by Henry Herring, night and day. The night statue holds an owl, the day statue holds a rooster. They symbolize the 24-hour operation of the train station. Okay, I know the stairway to the left eventually gets you up to Cal Street, and it looks like there's an entrance to the Pennsylvania room, but I think it's a lot easier if you have um, a Magnolia room pass. So you go down here to the right. We'll walk down there in a moment. And then there's a stairway inside there and an elevator to take you up to the Pennsylvania room. In the meantime, let's walk down the hall towards the old trains sign. Cavernous great room. As the sign says, all trains. Once we get down past that archway, there will be a sign that says north, south, and straight ahead. So then there are trains all over the place. Even numbered trains to one side, odd numbered to the other. Here we go to the Metropolitan Lounge. You're a sleeper car person. This is where you go. Check in at the desk. Get a pass card. Get a snack. Get a drink. Wait for your train. They'll escort you out. So, one of those old letterbox drops for the U.S. mail. 
So it shoots from the upper level. Drop your letters from up there. Then come down here. Okay, puzzle me this. Grand Hall, Union Station, Chicago. What do you think might have been put in here? Up the main hall, down into uh, central elevator, ticketing trains, food court. We have a south and a north concourse. Mm -hmm. And straight ahead to Amtrak gates. There you go. Ticketing. More chicken. Let's go for a walk. See what's going on. Thank you. 
the video pauses here while I find a place to go change batteries for my camera. Somehow I found the food court. Don't know how I got here. Just wandered in circles. Eventually I found it. Maybe I didn't go in circles. Sub place. Let me try this way. See what's down here. I'm just following the signs that says Great Hall. So somehow I found the food court. The baggage claim. So somehow this takes me back to the Great Hall. Hmm. I got myself turned around. We'll see if I can retrace the steps later. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so there's the Great Hall. We do a 180. We have choices in North Concourse, South Concourse, and straight ahead. Just by doing a step retrace, I'm going to the right. We stop here for a second. Track 6, track 8, 10 and 12. Looks like even number tracks. Wandering pigeon in the floor. This sign says food court, so that's where the food court is. We stopped the video here for a while. As many people are now coming around the corner and going up into the food court. Let's go inside the Metropolitan Room. Okay, this is the men's room. What's neat about the men's room is that's a shower. Apparently there's one in the women's room too. Now what the attendants tell me, it's first come, first serve. And they issue you the passcode, the pass card, and a towel. Go in, take your shower, and it's available for the next person. How about that? It's a little after 9.30. We're in the Metropolitan Room, and what do we have here? Hmm. Three packaged blueberry muffins, neutral grains, goldfish, Chef Pierre. The Sarah Lee has disappeared. Out of service coffee. Sort of coffee. Water. Let's see what's left here. Oatmeal. 
choice of teas, soft drinks, orange juice, no bottled water, haven't seen any, don't know where it was. Ah. We'll wait for the next shift. Okay, if you've watched other videos, you will notice that um, some people talk about the Pennsylvania room. The elevator they're talking about is sort of around the corner that way. It'll take you to the upper area. This stairway leads you up to Canal Street and the Pennsylvania room. Lots of little areas down here for wandering around in behind places. Even a little children's room. So I took a turn around, came back into the entranceway. Sarah Lee has reappeared. Ah, oats and honey chewies, new edition. And it looks like we're restocking drinks and juices. So let's go find the elevator. Stairs to the Pennsylvania room. You can also walk around back here going to the right. And there is an elevator back here. Okay, my choice is S and SR. Let's try SR. Let's see where that takes us. We're getting off at the S level. Oh, okay, so S level will take us out to the Pennsylvania room. It's okay. Lewis. Lewis, the main room. Uh, this is what I've been looking for. You all recognize any of those people? Let me get in closer here. How about the guy with the mustache? Okay, somebody said that up here they also have some. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Additional black and whites for green and whites. <clears throat> Additional black and whites. Looks like some Pennsylvania Railroad. Road. I guess they're FAE, so in the back. Gulfmobile in Ohio. Base. Another caboose, another GMO. What do we have out here? I believe it is Canal Street on the outside. Yes. Okay. So it's still in the Metropolitan Room, Union station Chicago what do we have here three pronged outlets two USB ports down here on this column same thing <clears throat> let's walk around to the table Another collection of 
USB ports for them. Nothing at this table, but if you were to the left, on the column, USB ports, three pronged outlets. In the next episode, number three, we travel west from Chicago on the California Zephyr towards and over the Rockies and into Northern California. Thank you for watching. 